I'm here at COCC in Redmond, where high school students from across the state of Oregon hosted this week to learn cutting edge skills in the trades industry. I got my safety equipment on. Let's see what they're up to. Admittedly, they aren't the experts. I'm not very good at cutting straight lines yet, but um, I did okay. At least yet, but the students tell me they're improving with each new cut. Just practice, just kind of getting used to it, the different torques. Some of the equipment may still be intimidating. Uh, definitely the saws, and the table saw was terrifying. It's just the idea of your hands getting so close to it. It's just, just creepy. But this week has been one these students won't forget. It's different. Never been in a class like this before. It's really cool. Like, I didn't think I would stay in a dorm before I went to college. The group of eight are staying in the dorms. Leona Holloman of Lapine and Emily Stanley of Redmond are the two Central Oregon-based students in the program. In online charter, the Oregon Destinations Career Academy started this pre-apprenticeship program to teach students widely applicable trade skills. Giving students an opportunity, especially students in the virtual setting, to meet other kids, to gain confidence, and to have another pathway besides just college. Principal Carrie Quinn says students have grown exponentially. We had students that were nervous to pick up a drill, haven't left home for the first time, and, you know, today, here they are, they're, they're using a table saw, they're, they've made friends, they've, they've gained confidence, and so these experiences give them that belief in themselves that they can take anywhere. Holloman added the student experience helped create tight bonds within the group. First day I was super nervous because I'm, I'm not a big people person and then um, we just like all became friends and so it's like it, this is really fun. Bonds which may turn into rivalries once the final cuts are made. Competition is in the program's curriculum. Uh, we're working on cornhole boards. And will you guys be able to play cornhole after they're constructed? Maybe. That's, that's, yes, yes. According to the instructor, yes. The students will complete their hands-on work here tomorrow before going home and completing the online portion of the course in the fall. From Redmond, Peyton Thomas, Central Oregon Daily News. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos from Central Oregon Daily News. And for more news from the high desert, just visit centraloregondaily.com.